So this is part two of 6.1. It's the norm of a vector. The norm of a vector is just the magnitude or the length of the vector. So just to recall, we had the magnitude of vector v in R2 is where v is x, y. So there's the picture of it in R2. You have x, y. This is the square root. It's the distance d. It's Pythagorean theorem. So the magnitude of an element u in a vector space. So it's pretty much the same. We call it the inner product. It's the square root of the inner product, which is the square root of the inner product with itself. So if I square both sides, we have the magnitude squared, which is just the inner product. And of course we have the unit length. So our distance between two elements is defined as the magnitude between the distance you subtract u and v. And it, it is the square root of the inner product of itself. So clearly my u here. So we're going to define this inner product as the weighted one-fourth times the first terms plus one-ninth times the second terms. We're also going to do an example using this. So my inner product is the magnitude squared. So since we're using this, both the ter first terms are x, both the second terms are y because it's just, they're the same. Take the square root of both. This is my curve. This is the curve. We square both sides. It's an ellipse. Let's do another example. So this is gonna be the matrix-induced inner product. So recall, but I want the inner product of u with itself, just be au dot au. So we need to find au. So au is 2, 7. So we just take the dot product and then the square root. And that's our answer. Okay, so we're going to define a new inner product uh, from 0 to pi. So let's find the norm of sine of x or the magnitude or the length. So instead of taking the square root of that whole integral, let's find the magnitude squared, which is defined to be the inner product of itself. We just multiply both of them here. If you forgot this, you're gonna have to put it in your memory again. Power reducing formula. Write both of them. Cosines the plus, sines the minus. Uh, 
Okay, so remember our u was sine of x. u, u, u. Recall, what if I wanted to make this a unit vector? Make a unit length. The unit vector was... The unit vector was you took the vector and you divided it by its length. So it's the same process here. Take your element and you divide it by the magnitude. Flip and multiply. And that length will be one. We'll be doing a lot of this in the next section. What about distance between two functions? And when we are finding this distance, it, it really is easier to find this because then we can just find the inner product without taking the square root and then taking the square root. These are the same term, so we square it and we multiply it. Now integrate, I'll have to multiply that out. Is that equal to? Yeah, that's the Pythagorean identity, it's one. And we can do a u sub if we wanted to, but do you recognize this trig identity? Yeah, that's the double angle sine of x. Be much easier to integrate that. This is just one, so is this. So it's equal to pi. So the square is equal to pi, so the distance is equal to the square root of pi. And that's our answer. So this works no matter what the parent space is. Think of the integrals we were just doing. If we're integrating, this is an inner product of functions. Zero times any function will be zero. The integral will be zero. Works for any inner products. So this is a review from the four properties, but here we end up with an inner product of V of itself. I'm going to work out this third property, and when you get to understand these better, you'll be able to do it easier too. Alpha and beta are constants. Use property number two, and then we use these are constants, we can pull them out. And there we have it. Let's do one example. Again, you can just go straight to the property or you can do it in steps like we just did it. It's probably at this point in the game better to practice in steps. So we just pulled out these constants. We separated these, use that. Property number two, that's the end.